Great news for Cambridge. Queen gave William and Kate special honour to represent her on special event. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William are due to set off on their Caribbean tour later this week, an official visit on behalf of the Queen. Where are the royal couple heading and what are their plans? The Queen is the UK's and several other countries' head of state, as well as the head of the Commonwealth, which is made up of 54 independent countries. The head of the Commonwealth title is mostly symbolic, but carries with it a number of official duties, including visiting Commonwealth countries. To mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee this year, members of the royal family will be visiting a number of these countries to celebrate 70 years of her accession. Described to be very much looking forward to the visit, Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge are due to visit three countries in the Caribbean where the Queen serves as head of state. The royal tour will take place between March 19 and March 26. Starting in Belize, William and Kate will visit historic Mayan sites and celebrate the rich culture of the Garifuna community, as well as explore the country's biodiversity. This will be a trip down memory lane for William, who trained the Welsh Guards Regiment in Belize in 2000. Next, the Duke and Duchess will head over to Jamaica, where they have engagements planned with the Jamaican Defence Force, and will celebrate Jamaica's musicians, including the seminal legacy of Bob Marley alongside up-and-coming stars. The Duke and Duchess will end the tour in the Bahamas, where they will spend time with communities across a number of islands, as well as experience a world-famous Junkanoo parade. Junkanoo is a street parade to celebrate Bahamian culture, filled with music, dancing, and costumes of mixed African origin. William and Kate expressed their excitement for the tour through the couple's Twitter account earlier in the year, saying, We are so excited to visit Belize, Jamaica and the Bahamas next month as we mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. We can't wait to meet people in all three countries, celebrate local cultures and understand more about innovative work being done across communities. The COVID-19 response will be a feature of importance throughout the program, as the Duke and Duchess are noted to be keen to understand more about how the Caribbean countries have dealt with the pandemic, the impact it has posed, as well as how they have pulled together to respond to challenges. The program will also touch on a number of key causes in their royal work, including the Earthshot Prize, mental health, and the importance of early childhood to lifelong outcomes. As with previous overseas visits, the Duke and Duchess are noted to have asked to meet as many local people as possible, with plans to meet a wide variety of groups, including children, young people and families, frontline workers, service personnel, leaders from government, business and the charity sector as well as inspiring conservationists, and the early years workforce. This trip marks William and Kate's first joint official overseas tour since the onset of COVID-19 in 2020. The Queen is expected to be more selective about what public appearances she makes in the future as she approaches her Platinum Jubilee celebrations in June. Her Majesty, who turns 96 next month, has had to cancel her attendance at the Commonwealth Day service in London on Monday. Emily Nash says, at nearly 96, it's remarkable that the Queen is as engaged and committed to her duties as ever. But she is not as mobile as she once was and inevitably, she is no longer able to carry out some of the physical elements of her work as she would want to. The L went as far as to say the Queen is unlikely to undertake investitures, which require her to stand on her feet for hours, ever again. Prince Charles, Princess Anne, and Prince William will continue to step in for her as they have been doing so, although royal sources claim the Queen may still carry out smaller or one-off investitures.